What is going on guys? It's Laro here and we're back with the, another Pokemon series Um, this one this time is Pokemon Shield. This is not Pokemon Sword, this is Pokemon Shield Um, but with a bit of a twist we are going to be doing a Nuzlocke challenge um, on this series Um, I'm going to start things off. We're going to go with the female this time uh, We've got the male on the Pokemon Sword, so I'm just going to mix things up a little bit Okay, Laro Yes Okay, guys, well, I'm going to go through some few rules for you, um, just so you guys know, back at home. Um, the rules will be in the description of the playlist um, of the episode, and it will also be in the actual clip itself, and um, it will also be in the um, playlist of Pokemon Shield Nuzlocke Challenge. Okay, so um, the first rule, what we're going to be doing for this challenge, um, any Pokemon that faints is considered dead. Um, and the Pokemon will be put in a box in the PC and it'll be left there and it will not be getting used again Okay um, Two the player may only catch the first Pokemon he encounters in each area and nothing else if that Pokemon um, Encounter fa uh, faints or flees. There are no second chances um, Shiny Pokemon don't include in this if you see a shiny you can catch that shiny because yes, of course it's a shiny very rare to find um, but we also won't be allowing duplicates. So, for example, if we come across a, um, let's say, a Rookie D, we see a Rookie D in Route 2, and we see a Rookie D in Route 6, we cannot capture um, a Rookie D. We can skip that go. Um, so, no duplicates. Um, rule number three the player will only be able to catch a Pokemon in hidden grassy areas, and I won't be able to catch a Pokemon in the wildlands due to the amount of Pokemon that can be captured in these areas. Okay, basically, all this break that down a little bit you know when you're going around and you can Pokemon in this game they walk freely you can see them we will not be including them Pokemon that we can catch when you see the grass moving around they're the hidden Pokemon and they're the Pokemon that we can capture and um, in the route areas and um, I've counted all the areas on the game of what we can capture and I believe there's 18 places we can capture hidden Pokemon in a route if we're only including one at a time so we have the routes, of course, um, and there's the two the caves as well. We can also fish in them caves because that's technically a hidden Pokemon. So 18 Pokemon will be the most Pokemon we can capture um, on this game, on this playthrough. Um, when I say about Wildlands as well, the Wildlands, because they're so huge and there's so many areas in the Wildlands, um, on, the south, on the south of the Wildlands and also in the north, we will not be including them as capturing Pokemon because there's just, there's too many and you can capture probably all 18 of your Pokemon in that one area. So we are going to scrap out the Wildlands and we'll, we'll not be capturing any Pokemon in them areas. Um, for traditional Nuzlocke challenge, we'll also, we'll also be naming every single one of our Pokemon with a nickname um, to get that bond with that Pokemon. Also, when we... Option uh, rule 5, sorry. When we get a blackout... Um, there will be obviously a second chance to carry on. We will also, this is what I'm saying before earlier on, we'll be carrying on until all Pokemon are dead that's in our group and also in our PC. So when we get all 18 Pokemon that have been killed, that is it. It's game over. We'll have 18 Pokemon that we can capture because of the hidden areas. There's more than that, of course, we can capture, but we're only capturing Pokemon in the hidden areas. And I've counted them all up. And as we see, there's 18 areas that we can capture Pokemon, and that's six in our box. And the remaining left of the Pokemon will be in our PC. Once one dies, we can bring one out, so on and so forth. So all of them have been wiped out. If they don't get wiped out, happy days. We can carry on and actually get somewhere on the game. Okay, I was going to include another another rule, um, but this game's a little bit different. Your, ID, your trainer ID number, you don't get your ID number till a little bit later on in the game. I was going to... Um, go for the starting Pokemon. I was gonna tally it down. Have grass one to at the end of your training number. We're gonna have one to three will be the grass. Four to four to six will be the fire. Seven to nine with the water. As you my choice. But we don't get our trainer's ID badge till we get our uniform, which is a bit late in the game. A bit, a bit later in the game, so we can't do that. I was gonna do it, but we can't. So we can choose ourselves what Pokemon we want to pick with. Um, I just wanted to make it a little bit harder for me, so I could. I didn't know what I was gonna come up with it and what I wanted. So. We can't do that rule, so we're just going to pick our Pokemon what we want from the start and we'll go from there. Rule number seven, the banning of the use of potions, okay, and healing items in battle. So we can't use items in battle 
um, from our storage to heal our Pokemon. But what we can do is we can put berries on our Pokemon as an item and they can heal themselves that way. That's perfectly fine. We can do that. But we can't actually give them an item when we are battling. Um, we only can use a Pokemon Center for healing our Pokemon. And we can only use curries when we're camping. Um, so obviously you can cook up a curry and when you go camping you can heal your Pokemon that way. Um, but if you've got a fainted Pokemon, because the curries can revive your Pokemon, we will not be including that as when your Pokemon has been killed, it's out. It will revive in the game, you'll see it in the screen. But we will not be using that Pokemon. We will put that in the box as soon as possible so it can't get revived. Um, okay, number eight. Um, candies. You get candies in this game, so you can get obviously rare candies that are hidden. And when you do, um, you do the Dynamics Pokemon battles in the wild areas, you also get like like an XP candy from it can be from like a very small one to an extra large. We will not use those candies to level up Pokemon. I just think it's a cheap and easier way of doing things because you can level your Pokemon probably to level 100 within an hour by just doing them battles. And we're not going to be doing that. We're going to test ourselves and we're just going to be using battling trainers and battling wild Pokemon only to level our Pokemon. Um, and number nine, we will not be using legendary Pokemon on this series either. We'll I don't like using legendary Pokemon anyway. I just think it's a cheap way of playing the game. Um, so we're not going to use legendary Pokemon. Um, I was saying there about the potions, um, like when we are out of battle, we can use potions, um, we just can't use potions when we're in battle, so we can, so we can use potions, let's say we're, uh, we're down route 4, and we need to heal our Pokemon, but there's no Pokemon centers nearby, we can actually use our potions there and then, but we can't use them in battle, so that goes for any, any trainer battles, any rival battles, um, any gym leader battles, anything. We can't use potions in game. We can't use any sort of item in game, shall I say? Um, but like I said, we can use held items. So we can use we can use items to help our Pokemon. Um, let's say we have I'm trying to think. We have um, the sludge, the black sludge, for example. We can put that on a poison Pokemon to give them the health generation type thing. That's fine. We can use items. We just can't use items to heal them from directly. But we can use held items. Um, but all the rules will be in the description. Okay, guys. Um, on our Soul playthrough, we did pick Grookey. So, we're not going to pick Grookey on this one. Grookey will be on the side. we Because we did pick him before. So, we're going to decide which one. So, we're gonna, either going to be the water type or the fire type. So, we've got Sobble or we've got Skull Bunny. Just to mix things up a little bit. Experiment on different Pokemon. Look at them, they all looking after each other. And they become enemies at the end of the game. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is what makes Pokemon games brilliant. Where you just pick your Pokemon at the beginning. Let's hope they survive to the end with me. <laughs> I'd be gutted if you don't. <laughs> Absolutely gutted. Okay, I get to pick first. And the Pokemon that I'll be picking will be a Skull Bunny. We're going to pick the Skull Bunny, guys. Um... Yeah, we're going with Skull Bunny. Of course we are. I was going to go with Sobble. I had to think about it before the, the game. But yeah, we're going to go with Skull Bunny. So yes, we're going to give Skull Bunny a nickname. And we're good. What are going to call him? What are going to call him? We'll call him... Go on, call them kick ups. We got our score, bunny guys. So, it'll be score bunny for you. Nice one. Of course, of course. And he goes with the Grookey. There's Rulu and Grookey and his team, and that's who we're going to be facing very shortly. Poor Sobble. This would be a true test as well, because when I picked the grass type on Sword, he picked Skull Bunny and he had two fire types, which made it a little bit easier. Got the Barbie on the go.
Okay, here we go, here we go. Hops fired and ready. Here we go, battle number one. Twin Hop is going to send out his Wulu. So we don't have a choice of what we're going to capture in this game. Okay, kick ups, let's go. Uh, oh, yeah, I was like, was it? I was like, where the hell's my fire type move? Where's it gone? I remember you've got to defeat Wulu and then you get the fire type move. Let's keep hitting with the tackles. Have I got to. You know what? I could. If they got. The only way he's going to beat me is if he gets crits. Uh, lucky. Tackle's not a high crit move. But it can happen. It can happen. I've seen it happen. Okay, we learned Ember. There we go. We got our fire type move. Okay, he's sending out his Grookey. Okay, should take two two Embers. Should take him out. What? Grookey's not quicker than our kick ups. Where is he? No, no, score bunny's well faster. Sorry, kick ups. It's his name. Kick ups. That's score bunny. It's a kick up. No, don't beat me. Oh. There we go, guys. We got our first victory in the bag. So I've got to be very careful. Like, I can. I can flee from Pokemon. Um, but obviously, I don't want to flee. Say if I go into Route 2, I don't want to flee with that Pokemon because then that would be Route 2 gone. I don't want to have a choice of um, capturing that Pokemon. We can't flee from the first time we go into routes. I'm not too sure what I can capture in Route 2 in the Hidden Grass. I know when they're showing, you've got, obviously you've got your Rookadine, your Wulu. I can't think of anything else that's actually in that area. Okay, I can't remember where I go again. Okay, here we go. Oh, yeah, this is where we go into the Slumber and Wheels. All right, this is where I was on about, guys. You'll see it very shortly now. When we go into the, Wonder, the Slumber and Wheels, we'll encounter three Pokemon. But the three Pokemon that we'll be encountering will be not be included as a, a lost chance of capturing them because we do not have Pokeballs just yet. We'll get them a little bit later on. So we're going to Slumber and Wheels right now. Right. This is mad. You can't see your own hand in your front of your face. Hop looks pissed. Doesn't look happy, does he? A Pokeball that we have, but we not using Master Balls. You only get, like I said, you only get Master Ball late game anyway, but we can use any sort of Pokeball to capture the Pokemon. So we can, if we come across Ultra Balls, that's fine. Um, you can use any like special balls, obviously, like you know, net balls, dust balls, etc. And so many. Um, just not using Master Balls. But you only get one Master Ball in the game anyway, so it's. Okay, we got the Wulu. Liam was there to save the day again. Just gets in your face, don't he? Okay, we're going to Wedgehurst now. Gonna let my mother know that I'm going. I'm going on my Pokemon journey to do my Nuzlocke challenge, mother. Gotta go. Killer boots, man. Killer boots. Look how cute my kick ups is. See, I just wish me. It's not a score, buddy. It's kick ups. That's why I keep calling it a score bunny. I know it's a score bunny, but I wish you, my mum would call it the actual name of the Pokemon. Okay, let's go. Did we get our Pokeballs? 
Okay, guys, so yes, we have our five Pokeballs. So this is where the Nuzlocke begins. We can actually go into Route 2 now, and we can capture our first Pokemon. <laughs> what are we going to have? What are we going to get? We don't know. We know it's not going to be anything powerful, nothing strong. But it's exciting to see which Pokemon our first Pokemon we're going to capture. Okay, guys. All right, hops on his way. Okay, this is what I was saying earlier on. You see the Pokemon that pop up? We cannot capture them Pokemon because we can see them and it takes away the excitement about what we're going to capture. So we're not going to capture the Pokemon that are, are uh, like there to the naked eye. Only capture the Pokemon. Let's see, let's, let's see an example. See there? The movement in the grass. They're the Pokemon that we can only capture. So everywhere around the Galar region, they're the only Pokemon we can capture. And we can also capture the Pokemon that we fish. And that is it. That's the only Pokemon we can capture. Um, so let's go. Here we go. First Pokemon that we are going to capture for this Nuzlocke. Oh, it is bloody move out the way. Get this item. Can't wait until these move. First Pokemon is going to be... Here we go. First Pokemon. Oh. Oh, Scovet. We got a Scovet, guys. Why? Why? The Pokemon's awful. Right, okay. That's the part of the game. We don't know if we're going to catch it. We're going to throw up a first Pokeball. Let's we'll go with it. There we go. We got our first Pokemon, guys. In the bag. We're going to go with it. Is it straight up normal type Pokemon? It might come advantage because normal Pokemon are well balanced on the fact that they can land so many moves. Maybe that might help. That'll work. So we have our first Pokemon, and we have ourselves a Chewy, aka Scorbet. See, this is what I mean about the Nuzlocke. Like, there's no way in hell I would have picked one of those, one of them, to be in my six, you know. But like I said, the balance range of the Pokemon might come in handy. Sonya there, Professor, Professor's assistant. Like I said, I'm not really reading about what we've got to do here. Like, I, I kind of know what we... Well, I know what we've got to do. If you are interested in the actual story of the game, um, please check out my Pokemon Sword playthrough. I'll actually link my Pokemon Sword playthrough in the description uh, below for you guys to check out if you want to watch um, Pokemon Sword episodes. Like, my channel is very new, so the Pokemon Sword was, like, the first videos I've ever done. Uh, like I said, the, the, I'm only going to hopefully get better at doing this kind of stuff for you guys. I enjoy doing it. And I hope you guys enjoy watching them. Okay, there's the Pokemon Center. Oh, I've told them that I want to know more about the Pokemon Center, haven't I? I didn't mean to do that. I did as well. Ugh. I know how the Pokemon's... Oh, no. It's... Uh, is it a Pokemon? Of course not. Of course not. I thought he was going to do it anyway. Cool. Cool to know. Okay, let's get going. We are going to come up and get some trainers in this next route. So we've done route one. So this is going to be route two. So again, we can capture our third Pokemon in this route. Again, it can only be Pokemon that are hidden in the grass. We can't capture the Pokemon that appear in front of our eyes. So it's randomized again. We don't, we, so we don't have the option of picking who we want. But again, no duplicates. So we get a duplicate Pokemon. We cannot have that Pokemon. So if we find another Skull Bit, we're not using that Pokemon using something else we can look again but we, we can now we can train in route one 
to level up and once you've done route two capture the first pokemon we've got 20 balls there um once you catch our first Pokemon, or second Pokemon, sorry, in Route 2, we can then start training in Route 2, because we have our Pokemon. But so far, so good. No faint, no, no, um, no Pokemon have died just yet. So here we go. So it's time to catch our second Pokemon, and uh, it's going to be our third Pokemon in our in our group, our first six. So who's it going to be? Here we go. It was it. It was going to be... Oh, it's a low tad. I'll take it. I, this, this see this is a shield exclusive Pokemon. This isn't in uh, she, uh, Sword, but a Lotad. I'll take it. I will take a Lotad. A hundred percent. I'll take a Lotad. Lotad, get on the team. I remember using this back on a uh, Pokemon. Oh, was it Pokemon Ruby? I think it's a third gen Pokemon. So we got ourselves a low tide in the team. A nice Pokemon. It's a water grass type Pokemon. A low tide. I am happy with that. I am happy with a low tide. I really am happy with a low tide. Right, okay. So we have a low tide, guys. I'm actually excited about that Pokemon. It's, uh... And you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to give the Pokemon a nickname. <laughs> Apologies, apologies. Okay, guys. Um, I sorry, I had to go back to the Pokemon Center. I forgot to name a Pokemon because I'm an idiot. Um, so we got ourselves a Lotad, and we called him Congo. Uh, so this is Congo, Congo the the Lotad. Um, is a water grass type Pokemon. Um, I'm happy with it. What's this? Um, rain dish. The Pokemon gradually regains HP in the rain. Cool ability. We still have HP as well, the Pokemon eats it. Loving the ability, great ability. Nice ability, love it. Okay, let's get moving. No, 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 no. And we're coming across our first trainer here. Here we go. First trainer that we'll be encountering. Let's see how we get on. Let's hopefully they all survive. <laughs> should do. They should do. Youngster Jake wants to battle. Okay, he's coming out with a skull bit. Stop things up, and I've got kick ups. Okay, we're going to hit with a quick attack. We will be training up in this area because we, we do have another rival battle coming up shortly. I do want to carry loads of potions with me just so every battle I go into I do have full HP. I don't want to be going into battles with half HP thinking I'll be okay. Okay, Youngster Drake has been defeated. So all this money that we get, we will be buying some potions with the money. We've got another battle coming up. Heal up kick ups. Again, potions are okay to use out of battle, just not in battle. Nice in there. Nice little zigzagoon. Wouldn't mind a zigzagoon. If I'm honest, in the Gala region, it's a dark type Pokemon. This is still the same route, isn't it? Yeah. Nice in there. Again, I can't catch anything around here. That's those three more Pokeballs. Still the same route. Okay, we've got a second trainer coming up. I think the water behind it as well when we do get our our surf, you could say. Um, I think it's still one route, to be honest. Oh, okay, so this is where it gets tricky. That's a water-type Pokemon. We're going to go with a quick attack just right now. We don't know if it's got a water move. Okay, it's got tackle. Might not have any water moves, so we might be okay in this battle. We're, we're good, good, we're good guys, guys. We're, we're good, we're good. good. Kick-ups Kick will be fine. fine. Just keep using the tackle. Give him a tackle back. Okay, shoot these out. Okay, 
Okay, everyone's getting a level up. Chewie is level 6. Kongo has gone to level 7. And Lauren's been defeated. Okay, let's put a potion on. So we're going to need a lot of potions in this in the series. Just going to keep using kickups for the time being. It's the safest option. And Scarvet and, and um, sorry, Chewie and Congo won't be enough to deal out some damage against these trainers just yet. I don't think we encounter... I'm trying to think where Route 3 is. Because I'm sure after here we go into the wild area. But we can't capture Pokemon in there. Also, Pokemon... Pokemon that get given to us, we will not be using them Pokemon also. Um, egg Pokemon, we won't be using. Trade Pokemon, we won't be using. level 7, I was just wondering if this thing could hit even harder, but it's not, it seems to be, I think it seems to be okay, yeah, we're good, we're good. Let's hit with a quick attack, and I'm be sure she wrote. Okay, let's take a look at it. Another win there, for kickups. Benjamin's been defeated. Battle number two of the rival. Okay, here we go, here we go. Do you see how two Pokemon there? Oh, he has three. Ooh. Like, on Sword, he has a Rookie D, I think. Oh, I wanted these tickets half his HP off. I just don't want crits to land. <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, move down. It's good. I just want to see. Okay, everyone gets leveled. Chewie and Kongo also get a level up with pickups. Okay, Kuki. Shouldn't be a problem. Hit him with the Ember. And another one at KO. See, I'm not stupid, Hop. I'm not stupid. Okay, and we... Another Ember. There goes Grookey. It's the strongest Pokemon he has. So, we should be fine. Like I said, on Sword, he does have a Rookie D. And he has a Rookie D again on this one. That's fine. That's what we can use right now as an embers. Peck, 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 peck. Look at these fainted. Whew, right, right, that's a good one. Good battle. We got the XP, we got the levels up. Congo land missed. Oh, what's that missed do? Use a cloak to serve its allies while the mist prevents its stats being loaded for five turns. Right, we're gonna we're gonna give him the mist, um, but we're gonna try and just stick with moves that we can just do a, a damage to the Pokemon because I don't want to be messing around with strat strategies and like lowering their offenses and defenses and stuff. You know, I just want to get the job done. I want to kill him, get him out of the way, get the next one on on the go. Um, that's why I want to hopefully have Pokemon that can learn different range, like different varieties of moves, different types of moves that will come in handy. But nevertheless, he's learned this. Better endorsements. From the chairman himself, Rose. Do, 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 do. 
Oh. Like, this is the beginning of the things. It's only going to get harder. It's only going to get harder. Because the game is pretty tough. If you don't keep your levels up, you will be beaten. <laughs> and the fact that we can't use candies, it makes it that a little bit harder. Because we only have so much to work with. And I think the gym leaders are a little bit harder on this game. Uh, especially the late ones. The beginner ones aren't that so much. I think the grass one, obviously the grass one's going to be a walk in the park. Just the fact that we've got kick-ups. The water one's going to be a test. The water one will be a test. But we have got Congo and he is a water grass type. And hopefully his, he'll learn some good grass moves come there. We'll, we'll have, have to wait and see, guys. We'll have to wait and see. Um, you never know. Could be a trainer. Could be a wild Pokemon. That could surprise us. With a critical hit or anything. It could be anything, you know? But I'm looking, hopefully, to get my first six and stick with my first six. That's the aim. But I can actually use the PC Pokemon in the areas, which will be 18 max Pokemon. You could say we've got three three attempts of this. But again, we're not. For example, we could be playing the game and we could have five of the same type and we could come into a gym, which these five Pokemon are weak against that gym. We just don't know. It's 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 not like I'm going into a water gym and going, oh, I've already got a fire type. I need to find an electric Pokemon to help me out. I'll train the electric one, be a walk in the park, we do the gym. It doesn't work like that. It depends on what I come up with and what I can find. We just have to wait and see, see what we get. One last thing before we race. You always win, you always win, you always one step ahead of me. Yeah, well we can't capture them Pokemon Hop. You know this now, you can't, you did you read the description? I don't think Hop read the description about how this Nuzlocke works. You can't catch Pokemon that appear in the grass. Okay guys. That is where we're going to end today's video. Um, we will be posting, I will be posting another one up shortly. Um, but just a re quick recap before we end the episode. Um, we've gone through routes. Where's the map? Where's the map? There we go. Okay, so we've, we've come from our hometown. Um, this is our lovely home here um, in, in Poswick. We've come from Poswick. We've done Route 1. We've done to Route 2. We spoke to the professor at her home. And we're back in the Pokemon Center in Wenchurst, and we're going to get the train on the next episode into the wild area, which is which is here. This is the train station. We're going to come to the wild areas, um, but we're not going to be doing much in the wild areas, so you won't see anything, any footage of the wild areas. We're just going to get through it. Um, so the next episode, you will see us um, getting the train, um, and then you'll see us automatically being here in Motorstoke, just outside Motorstoke, which we'll then go on our journey from there because again we can't capture anything in this area and we can't capture anything in this area because we are excluding these out the way uh, just because there's so many pokemon you can find in this area um so we're only catching the pokemon in the roots and um, in the caves and so on so forth so yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do enjoy the videos smash a like comment subscribe and let me know how you think about the series so far and um, that being said, I'll see you guys on the next episode.